a 50-year-old male is found dead in his room from a gunshot to his head. There's a large insurance money on stake. The insurance company claims this is a suicide staged to look like a homicide, while the family is sure this is a tragic murder. A court case opens. The forensic scientists are called to make things clear. But their testimony are almost always complex and difficult to understand to the lay jury. In television, they will reenact this case using computer graphics to show it almost as if you were there at the time of the event. This is too good to be true, right? <laughs> on the contrary, my research brings this as-seen-on-TV technology to the courtroom. The crime scene and the victim's body, along with other important evidence, are scanned and replicated virtually. The objects and the body can be moved and positioned according to different scenarios. The trajectory of the blood spattered from the gunshot is calculated to show where they would land. This spatter pattern is directly comparable to the crime scene. The slide shows a case simulation of a homicide. You can see that there will be a large amount of blood splattered to the right in the direction of the bullet. This is what you usually see in the television. However, more importantly, there is also a small amount of blood spattered to the left, backwards. This is called the back spatter and is the key evidence in solving this case. Because you can see the back spatter in case of a homicide will land on the assailant, but if it's a case of a suicide, it'll be found on the victim's hand. The police did not find any back spatter on the victim's hand, making this a homicide, but they did find it on the wife's hand. <laughs> Ironically, making the family right. My simulation makes the comparison between homicide and suicide visual, intuitive, and easy to understand. It makes a great presentation at the court, and it will help bring murderers to justice. Virtual crime scene investigation is no longer just a fiction. My research is bringing it to reality. Thank you.